I'm Amira David and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. There are now more than 14,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 540 deaths here in Michigan. That's more than 1400 new positive cases and 61 additional deaths. The Michigan Department of Corrections is also reporting its first death. A 55 year old prisoner housed at Parnell Correctional Facility passed away from COVID-19 and the Wayne County Sheriff's Office confirming its second death involving a deputy due to COVID-19. Deputy Dean Savard has passed away. Meantime, we are getting another look inside the TCF Center as crews work to convert the facility into an alternative hospital. The Army Corps of Engineers and FEMA have been busy transforming TCF Center in hopes of welcoming patients before April 9th. The convention center will have the capacity to treat nearly 1,000 COVID-19 patients. And Wayne State is establishing a crisis hotline for healthcare workers and first responders fighting COVID-19. The hotline is a partnership between the School of Social Work and the College of Nursing, as well as other Wayne State departments. The hotline, which launches on Tuesday, will be staffed by professionally licensed social workers and other mental health professionals, counselors, and more. They'll be able to talk to you from 5 a.m. until 9 a.m. Monday through Saturday. All right, quick check on the forecast with Mike. Things are going to get better to close out the weekend, but we still have some rain that's going to move through for tonight. But the seven day does have some uh, good news on there as far as the temperatures are concerned. Each day is going to get warmer. We climb up near 64 and 65 on Tuesday and Wednesday. Enjoy that, but make sure you have our weather app to track the chance of showers and storms. And then after that, a strong cold front arrives, dropping us by about 20 degrees by Friday. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Those are your headlines. Have a great day.